now Sarah Haynes is in with Pop News. Thank you, guys. Hello, good morning. Happy, happy Friday. We begin this morning with the Bee Gees, staying alive and headed to the big screen. We're happy to report there's a movie in the works about the famous falsettos. The production team behind Bohemian Rhapsody, which was amazing, will be taking on the story of the brothers who sang some of our favorite hits of all time, like Staying Alive, Night Fever, and How Deep Is Your Love? While there's no word on who will play the defining disco trio just yet, wait for it, Michael, we do have a casting suggestion with a, we know a few guys here who yes. might be perfect Ooh. for the yeah. cast. The chest hair was distracting. The chest hair <laughs> was the only thing I could see as each one of yes. you ran into me backstage. I, I texted Michael. I said, I just saw Gio with a patch of chest hair that I can't unsee. It's like a full rug. <laughs> but but it was are, fun. Michael, I don't think you have time in your schedule for a movie right now. That's the only reason yeah, he's saying no. I know. So, I would have been number one on that list. <laughs> maybe next time. But we're still talking Halloween because it's so much fun. And a lot of the celebrities are too. So we rounded up some of our favorite looks, starting with Kevin Hart, so good. who so decided good. to troll his best friend, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, <laughs> recreating this mm, timeless photo. The fanny pack. The, <laughs> the chain, the turtleneck, so much in one picture. Um, so he posted it to Instagram writing, the conf well, this is The Rock responding. The confident gaze kills me. <laughs> and another Halloween winner, Jennifer Garner. Earlier this year, she gave a commencement speech at her alma mater where she gave this, this sage advice to the graduates. When it comes to Halloween costumes, go funny over sexy. Why would you dress like a flirty nurse when you could be a mailbox? <laughs> <laughs> sure to deliver on that this year. And finally, Mariah Carey channeled an 80s rocker for Halloween, but once the clock struck midnight, it was finally time to celebrate her favorite time of the year. Oh. <laughs> Santa. <laughs> it's time. <laughs> season and the people agree her song all I want for Christmas is you has made its return to the iTunes top 200 charts and is climbing back to the top that little song right there is the Christmas gift that keeps on giving for Carrie it is one of the most popular songs of all time and according to the economist Mariah has made over 60 million dollars in royalties just from that one song one song. She has so many hits in that one song, 60 million. She's going to move that up to July 4th now. <laughs> <laughs> the further we can go, we can bang up those zeros, George. Come on. And what you guys, I have a joke for you for the next one. What oh. do you do if you're a dog and you get locked outside? Ring the doorbell, duh. Here's a dog. Check out this lab, Chica. <laughs> it's her strategy after she found herself outside at 2 a.m. She literally rang the little nest doorbell. Chica. <laughs> And it was sad because I was like, how did she get locked out? And I guess her owner literally like forgot about her. It happens. How'd she get so smart? <laughs> She's a brilliant dog. It must be, well, she looks a little like a Chihuahua, but a Chihuahua can never reach that bell, George. <laughs> you know I have a bias, so. Yes, I do. That's pop news. That's pop news. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Michael. <laughs> Thank you, Sarah. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.